You need innovation to become sustainable. Carbon is risky. It's bad for the world. How can we continue to invest in something that increasingly will become dangerous, risky, and therefore uh, a bad idea? Let's stop that and let's do something else. This something else now is available and it's becoming extremely competitive. That's, that's basic the story. Change is always happening, but there are moments where this is kind of accelerating and then all of a sudden people realize, oh, everything is changing. But actually it's been changing all, all along. A little bit like earthquakes build up, you know, there is a little bit of friction and then boom, a, bi a big crash. So today we are in this rapid transition because for the previous decade there has been a lot of technology, a lot of evolution in many smaller and bigger components that today bring about this big opportunity. We saw this coming at a certain point. We decided not to try and push it back, but to see the good that is in there and how quickly we can run into the new world of energy. There are many businesses that are totally conscious that they are not sustainable and they know they have a kind of expiration date. We don't want to have an expiration date, that's very simple. So we want to have a very, very, very long future and therefore we need to be sustainable. We always looked at energy as a standalone value, but energy alone is nothing. Energy is good because it helps others achieve things, do something with their lives, with their work, with their entrepreneurship. We should be open to collaboration. This means we should understand what the other people and the other pieces of societies need from us. If a utility wants to survive, it has to be sustainable. There's, there's no question about this, it's obvious. So the issue is just how quickly you do that, you can actually implement this sustainable way of becoming a utility of the future with some hard choices and a little bit of pain, but you know, this is life, <laughs> you need to do that anyway. It's not impossible, it's not rocket science, it's just to be determined and do it. For us, business is a continued trip in the future. So you cannot think that you end in 20 something. You have to keep going forward and look at future as long, long term future. And how can you project yourself in a business if this future cannot be sustained? We need to really work on the billions, billions of people that have no access to energy, no education, no food. There are a relative group of people that think they really control the destiny of the world. Frankly, I think it's ridiculous. The global evolution technology is a much more powerful force, completely out of control of any elite you, you would like to mention. Technology is a big, big force. Mankind has still some kind of Faustian dream that they can really direct the direction in which technology is going. I think it's futile. The big thing would be that all people in the world have access to basic education and, and, and have the tools to understand the world without an ideology, a, a forced idea on their brains. In fact, you see that the world that is changing faster is the world in which information and people are free to discuss and, and, and interact within themselves. Where this doesn't happen, the society suffers. <laughs>